Atomic Goldfish! Welcome back to our latest quest for the science behind your beer. Now, during the last round, we looked at how molecules in beer can cover bubbles in a thin skin, which makes them slow down as they try to rise. But, while we're on the subject, why don't we look at another aspect of rising bubbles, which is why they grow in size as they rise to the top. Whoa! You might think it's to do with the pressure being higher at the bottom of the glass than the top. After all, there is all that beer sat on top of the bubbles at the bottom. But unfortunately, that's not actually the case. For that to happen, and your bubble to double in size between the bottom and the top, your pint would need to be seven stories high, which, although appealing, is kind of impractical. Mm. In actual fact, it's all down to something called nucleation, which is the basis of how bubbles form. Initially, there are lots of molecules of carbon dioxide, but in order to form a bubble, they need to gather together in big enough groups to force back the surrounding liquid. And to help that, they need a place to cling onto. Little scratches or pieces of dust in your pint glass are called nucleation sites and form handy places where all those molecules can gather to form bubbles. In fact, lots of breweries will start etching nucleation sites onto the bottom of their pint glasses so that bubbles keep forming throughout your pint. It's also the reason that bar staff will often rinse your glass with a bit of cold water before pouring because that water masks those nucleation sites and makes the head more manageable when they first pour it. Because beer bubbles are coated in their rough skin of surface active agents, it means that they actually act as nucleation sites on their own. So as they rise, they sweep up extra carbon dioxide molecules and grow. So that's why the bubbles are more than twice as big by the time they reach the top of the glass. So there's another beery tipple for you to scrutinise in your own time. We'll be back soon to bring you another round of thirst-quenching science. 